Hello guys, happy holidays. It is Drew here. I cannot believe it is December. That is absolutely crazy. And I wanted to get this video up sooner, but I swear that last apartment makeover I uploaded, which you guys, I think a lot of you saw. If you have not seen it, I'll put it in a card up here. It just took me so long and I just didn't get to decorating my own apartment for the Christmas time, which is one of my favorite things to do. So today I am going to be decorating my apartment for Christmas. Just gonna be doing some simple decorations, nothing too insane, but you guys love these videos and I personally love them as well. Well, as you can see, I already set up the tree. I did this before I left to New York because my roommate was having a like Friendsgiving sort of thing here. We wanted the tree up and there also are some super cute DIY ideas. There's like one, actually two kind of like decor items and then there's two DIY ornaments as well. So you get like four DIY projects in this video. And if you did not see my last video, I launched my line of merch, the Lone Fox merch, which is so freaking cute. You can shop it at LoneFox.com. Link in the description box below. Take a look over there if you are curious about that. And let's just jump into today's decorating video because it's going to be super casual, super fun, and just very chill. So let's get started. Giving you the quickest ever before, just literally a pan. This is what the living room looks like before. I'm sure you guys have all seen it, but let's get to decorating. If any of you guys are curious of the tree that I have, it is the Wonder Shop tree from Target. It's the nine foot tall one that is fully flocked. It's honestly the prettiest tree I think I've ever seen ever. And I know it was extremely expensive. It was $500, but I've had this for about four years now. And the thing I love is that it's actually so easy to connect. You just put these on top of each other. They light themselves up. You don't have to worry about anything about that. It's pre-lit, has all the flocking on it. It's just a really great tree. So I'm gonna link it below if I can find it on their site for you guys. And also, as you can see, we have a perfect nine foot ceiling here and it touches great. We actually don't add any form of like star or anything to the top. Um, just leave the tree as is because it's kind of tall already. I don't know if you remember my video last year where I did DIY ornaments. This super cute little fox one, a little sled made from popsicle sticks. There's also like a snowflake back here made from the little wood clothespins. And I will link that video for you guys below because it was such a cute video and there's 10 different ornament ideas. So definitely check it out. I'll put it in the card above as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I have to have some foxes. There's one here, and there's also that handmade one I made right there. And I also have bulldogs because I love bulldogs. I have two of them. And I had to create a couple DIY ornaments, which I hope you guys are not mad about. So the supplies for the first one are bottle brush trees, wooden coaster, snow text paint, glitter, drill, and white cord. So what I'm starting off with is one of the wooden coasters from Amazon. I'll link these below for you guys. And I'm putting three dots on the front in kind of like a triangle formation. And I'm using a small drill bit just to drill a hole through these coasters. That way we can add cording later. So you're gonna see what I'm doing with this. And the next what I'm doing is just gluing down a couple of the bottle brush trees also from Amazon. And I'm just gluing these down kind of in like a kind of foresty formation I guess you could say just to make it look really cute like there's trees on top of the platform and I'm using the snow text paint which is basically like a frothy like thicker consistency white paint that resembles snow and I'm just filling in gaps and just making this look a little bit more like a winter scenery and just applying that around all on the outside and also kind of frosting the edge of the wooden coaster and last but not least to finish this off I'm just adding a little sprinkle of shimmery glitter you can add whatever color you like, but I kind of wanted it just to resemble the snow. And then just to finish this coaster, um, or the, not this coaster, but we are using a coaster, to finish off this ornament, you're just going to add a string to all three holes and it's going to kind of create this hanging ornament like so. And then I'm wrapping a loop at the top and that really finishes off your ornament. It's pretty self-explanatory if you just kind of watch what I'm doing. And then I place it on the tree and it just turned out so super cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you. 
So here's one more ornament using the wooden coasters. So I used the miniature wreaths, the wooden coasters. I also used some Snowtex paint, some tiny red beads, glue, black pen, and some string to hang it with. So I started off by taking one of my miniature wreaths from Target, and I just kind of found a placement for it. And I'm actually gonna create these ornaments as more of a personalized one. So this is great kind of as like a gift tag if you wanna put it on someone's present or just give them an ornament for fun. And I'm gonna be gluing down the wreath on the top of that and just adding a little bit of Snowtex paint just to kind of personalize it a bit more. I just thought the green was very stark, so I wanted to have it kind of a bit frosted, and I like the way that this looked. And I also found this little wooden heart in my stash of like random embellishments, so I added that on the wreath, and then I also added a couple of these tiny, tiny red beads, kind of to resemble little holly berries on there, just to add a little bit of a personalized touch to the wreath. And that sort of finishes off the front of it, and I'm simply adding a loop onto the back with some string, and that is a super simple personalized ornament, which I think is so cute. I'm currently outside of World Market at the Grove. Look at it, it's all Christmassy here. Um, there's trees and garlands everywhere. But I am just gonna go inside and see if I can find a couple items. I'm not looking to spend that much because I do have decor from last year. So I'm just gonna get a couple of things just to spice up the apartment a bit more. Vintage Santa, I saw Hermione Chantel post about her vintage Santa collection and it inspired me. So I'm gonna get this little mug. I have an obsession with bulldogs. As you know, I my parents have two of them. We've always had them. And look at this little, I don't know if it's a French bulldog. It kind of looks like a French bulldog, probably because of the ears as well. It's in a little hat. It's a cookie jar. Oh my God. I have to get this. I wonder how much it is. This one's accurate. Okay, so I saw these little food storage containers and I'm gonna grab this one. It's $5, but I feel like I could do like a DIY snow globe. And so when I saw this, I was like, snow globe. And I have a ton of like Christmassy kind of bits to put in here. So I feel like that can definitely work. Currently in the dollar section at Target, just checking out this section because I sometimes have some really good items. All right, so in the dollar section, I got a ton of these little trees. Uh, the larger ones are $3, and these little small ones are only a dollar, and they're so pretty and cute. I also got some little wreaths, and I also got this miniature tree, which was $5, but we're also now in the actual like Christmas area of Target, and I got two pillows. I thought that one was kind of cute, and then this one. I just got home from Target, but I for completely forgot to share with you guys when I was putting these away. I brought my tote bags with me, my reusable totes, the visual interest tote bag, and the tool tote bag. Look how cute this is. I was able to fit a ton of the holiday stuff I got in here, which you guys are gonna see in this little makeover. I just bought some like little balsam tree, like this really cool tree from Target. Um, some of the stuff you haven't seen yet because I didn't really share me shopping much at Target. But look how cute the bags are. Um, this is a tools tote bag and this is a visual interest canvas tote bag. And I kind of forgot to also mention with you guys um, in my last video that the backside actually does have a really cute little Lone Fox logo stamped on the backside. Looks like that and that comes on every single tote bag. So even on this one as well, Looks like that and um, I'm gonna link these below for you guys in case you want to get one for the holiday season. So for the fireplace area, I wanted to make it almost look like there was a mantle. So I use these little Amazon hooks that I've had in my collection. I'll link them below. And I use this really cute little frosted garland from World Market. It has pine cones on it to make it almost look like there was a shelf it was attached to. And then also I wanted to DIY this little wall art piece. So I went ahead and I pulled down my original piece of artwork and I picked up these wooden letters from Target. They were $3 in the like dollar spot section. And I glued them down to a white piece of butcher's paper. It's actually the paper I use to film with sometimes. I cut it down to the size of the artwork, glued down all of the wooden letters with a little bit of Fabri-Tac adhesive, and I adhered them on to the background, and then basically put it back up on the wall to fill in this opening, and it looked so good. I'm obsessed with it. 
I was kind of going to keep this makeover a majority of voiceover and just music and keep it very chill, but look how freaking cute this new wall art looks. This was made using some Target wooden letters from the little dollar section. This was only $3. Just cut a piece of my like filming paper and put it in the frame, and it looks so cute above the fireplace. I'm so happy with this. I'm just going to rework these a little bit and then um, re-put back the stockings and stuff and all the decor, and then that's going to be the mantle area. And the DIYs are not over. We are now doing a little DIY snow globe. So I picked up this jar in the dollar spot at Target. It was actually $5. So that's rude of the dollar spot to be $5. But anyways, I also went ahead and glued down these bottle brush trees. I used a kitchen like tong to place them down in the bottom of it. And then I legit just filled it up with a whole bunch of glitter. This is glitter from last year. It's also from Target. And then I also filled it with an entire jar of the dollar glitter that was in the dollar spot section and these little tiny beads and that was really it like I didn't add water or anything it's kind of just like a really cute little winter scenery decor piece So for my last little project, we are actually going to be upcycling my wreath that I already have. So I got a couple of these like Christmassy kind of sprigs from Target that just have like berries and things. And I also got some small wire. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting the wire and I'm cutting little pieces of the sprigs and I'm actually going to be wiring them to the base of my magnolia leaf wreath, which I also got at Target. I've had this wreath for a while now and I didn't want to purchase a whole new Christmas wreath. I just wanted to kind of upcycle my current one and make it Christmassy. So I grabbed some pine cones, some little little Christmas like little sprigs that you can get at Michael's or really anywhere and I wired them on and the reason I wired them on instead of glued was that way I can cut the wire later and kind of rework this for fall next year or whatever I wanted to do so I placed it on the door and it just looks so freaking cute and I love the way it turned out. So I spent the last like hour and a half decorating the apartment, getting out all the old fall stuff and just putting in all of the Christmassy things. And I'm not gonna lie, like the mismatch of stuff in here is very random, but I absolutely love the way that it looks. It looks very like eclectic, but at the same time, very like, it's like really, really cute, quirky eclectic in a way. It's just a mixture of a lot of different styles of Christmas, which I typically kind of stick to one type, but I feel like there's just like a lot of different stuff in here and I really like the way that it looks. And so let me just reveal it to you guys.
and that was my Christmas apartment makeover. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I actually didn't do anything to my bedroom yet. I think I'm just gonna do that on my own time. Maybe share it over on my Instagram at Lone Fox Home. You guys can check it out there. I just wanted to do my living room and dining room area because that is the main kind of space I actually spend a lot of my time in. I edit out here. I film out here. I do a lot in the living room area. So that's why I kind of focused on the area out here. Plus there's the Christmas tree, which is just like, you know, one of the best parts. So if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And you can also check out LoneFox.com to get your very own Lone Fox merch just in time for the holiday seasons. Definitely a perfect gift for somebody that is a fan of the Lone Fox family. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just stop right there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy holidays. More Christmas videos to come soon. Leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Happy holidays and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.